The Prime Minister absolutely stunned this House and the country this afternoon by defending Rodney Hyde's cover-up of the theft of a dead child's identity as being ethical. And then he stunned the country again, Mr Speaker, by condemning his predecessor's action in signing the back of a paper, a painting, that was a donation for a fundraising effort at a kindergarten. The action of Mr Garrett and Mr Hyde and Mr Key in the cover-up of the theft of that dead child's identity caused immense distress to the mother and to the siblings of that child. The actions of Helen Clark were an altruistic uh, step towards helping children, towards helping children. But Mr Key was prepared to condemn Pre- prepared to condemn Helen Clark's action that caused Point no order. harm. No- order. I apologise, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. I'm sorry to interrupt order. my colleague, but could you do something about Melissa Lee screaming fr- as she left the chamber and other members, not even interjecting from their seats, but screaming like banshees as they did so, so sir? I don't think that's appropriate. Order. Uh-huh. A member shouldn't uh, say members are screaming like banshees, but if any member... Order. If any member is interjecting while leaving the chamber and uh, it comes to my notice, I'll be hauling them back very promptly, so I apologise to the member that I missed that. But I say to members still in the House, the level of of noise is just unreasonable. Nothing wrong with some interjections, but when the level of noise gets that that high, it's just impossible to hear the speaker. And uh, the general debate is held so we can hear what members have to say about issues of, uh, of, uh, uh, of public importance. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. S- Mr Speaker, there will be no sympathy amongst ordinary Kiwis for a Prime Minister prepared to defend the cover-up of an appalling crime, but then ready to condemn his predecessor, a decent person who committed no crime, no harm, and acted with good intent. Yeah, yeah. That is yeah. double standards, Mr Speaker, and that brings no credit on this Prime Minister. Right. Mr Key must be the only person in this country still prepared to defend the actions of Rodney Hyde in the cover-up of that passport fraud and the stealing of a dead baby's identity. One thing that New Zealanders hate more than anything else, Mr Speaker, is hypocrisy. And that's what we saw in the ACT Party's actions. The party that was against name suppression but was prepared to have it applied to the criminal offending of their own law and order spokesperson. The party that opposed clean slating minor convictions but wanted to clean slate the actions of their law and order spokesperson without any formal judicial process. The party that apparently defended the rights of victims but effectively were happy to see the gagging of the family of that child who had to watch the hypocrisy of people who said one thing and did something totally different. This ACT Party is the party that brooked no excuses for the criminal actions of offenders in this country, but were more than happy to find plenty of excuses for Mr Garrett, Mr Speaker. What this issue is about is that Mr Hyde knew about those actions. He knew about the hypocrisy of saying one thing and doing another, but he was happy to have that happen, provided the public didn't know about it. Provided the public didn't know about it. And I say, Mr Speaker, that Mr Key has an obligation under the Cabinet manual to hold his ministers to account if they don't show the highest ethical standards. And Mr Hyde's actions were anything but ethical. Mr Speaker, not only is Mr Key not not held Mr Hyde to account, but he has protected him. He's kept him on as a minister, notwithstanding the double standards on perks, notwithstanding the allegations by a former minister about Mr Hyde being a menacing bully and notwithstanding the despicable cover-up of Mr Garrett's actions. Mr Speaker, 
Mr Key demeans his position as Prime Minister. He's put politics ahead of the public interest. He keeps Mr Hyde on despite breaches by Mr Hyde of ethical standards for one reason and one reason alone. He wants the five votes of the Act members, Mr Speaker. He tries to make MMP the issue, but the issue is a lack of ethical standards by Mr Hyde and a lack of leadership by Mr Key. Mr Key should have stripped Act of its ministerial positions. National is tarnished, Mr Speaker, by a party that see the public sees as scandal-ridden and unworthy, Mr Speaker. It's time that Mr Key stopped his defence of that unacceptable behaviour. It's time he showed the some leadership. The question is that the motion be agreed to Rahui Kasane.